We're in today with the GeForce 7950 GX2. This is a 2006 video card with 512 megabytes of uh, VRAM. GDDR3, it's got 500 megahertz on the core clock and 601 megahertz on the memory clock. 256 bits bus width and it's a dual core video card with two PCBs. We're gonna pair it up with this i7 4 gen with four cores and eight threads. I'm gonna jump in a couple of games and find some games that actually works on this video card in SLI. Let's jump in. Until now, we managed to play with awesome video cards in this game. Managed to see at maximum how it's performing. But now I have a 1080p with static light, you know, that low quality light. But on maximum details on 1080p. And uh, yeah, look at the frame time. <laughs> <laughs> that SLA is working his ass off, seriously. I'm not joking. Look, uh, I got like 20, 25 watts consumption from the CPU, so the CPU has no problem. 3.5 gig uh, of system RAM, 10, 20% load on the CPU. It's doing okay, you know, the CPU and the computer. But on the GPU side, uh, yeah, it's struggling. 244 megabytes of VRAM. I don't have a load on the video card. It's very strange, but based on the temperature, I can see it's wor working really nice, you know, so there's no problem on the on the core. I mean, both of the cores are working 77 degrees, 62. Eh, okay, the frequency is the same, you know, so in this case, I know that the GPU is doing the job, you know. You can actually see it's looking okay-ish, you know, not, uh, not the brightest like previous, you know, with uh, maximum full dynamic light, but it's doing the job. Very scared with the temperature. It's got new thermal pace, but this sandwich video card is it's, it's so hard. I like everything about this idea of 7950GX2, you know, because it's an old uh, mammoth of a video card, very rare video card. But uh, yeah, I don't want to butcher it. 79 degrees. Uh. Well, last time I was here, I got uh, very carried away by the quality and the performance that every single SLI video card is working. Now that I come here with the first SLI, you know, I came here with the best. Uh, SLI video card, I, I, I think uh, I'm in trouble. I put everything on 720p with uh, lost details and I can barely have a playable FPS. Look at the frame time. Seriously, I don't like it. Seriously, it looks, uh, you know, it, it, on low quality, you know, it's it's low quality. 720p, I understand, you know, that's how you need to play old games back in the days. <laughs> but uh, today, uh, yeah, 7950, it's uh, struggling to actually push this game to uh, be enjoyable. I will not play this game because on 720p with low details is just struggling to actually give a, a playable FPS. I mean, it's doing the job, but the frame time is a it's proof that it's got a lot of problems in order to deliver that uh, performance. Now, on the temperature, that's the only clue I have that is working in SLI, nearly 210 watts consumption. So I will say an overall performance, it's okay, you know? It looks okay, you know? 40, 50 FPS on average, it's uh, it's not that bad, you know? But uh, because of the low quality, I don't like it, seriously. The CPU, on the other hand, has got nearly 30 watts consumption, 45 degrees, and uh, only 3.1 gig of system RAM. I mean, in the game, it's okay you know it looks okay but uh, yeah I don't uh, I don't really want to do this you know I don't really want to use uh, this uh, system like this I don't want to butcher this video card to be fair and uh, in, a, in a game that requires more power but if we're jumping in uh, GTR evolution you can actually see that the game is doing a fantastic work with this uh, video card yeah definitely I want to play this game it's on 720p with uh, maximum details 720p you know but uh, i need uh, this video card to actually work so hence why the lower resolution it's using nearly 260 megabytes of vram so can deny the performance here i mean it looks okay it runs okay it's, uh, temperature is good that means the cores are doing the job and uh, yeah can say nothing about this because it's scaling properly i think it's scaling properly i see the same uh, core frequency so i'm guessing there is no problem on the sli load you know if the temperature are nearly the same i will say is doing the job you know so vram it's utilized the temperature is nearly equal so in this case sli does work with 7950 so this game can be put on uh, on that list when it comes to 7950 gx2 sli compatible games yeah i'm so proud to say that word <laughs> but if we're jumping in hellgate london you can actually see that on 720p with maximum details on uh, 
let me show what I have here. So on 720p with maximum details, it's uh, yeah, it's struggling to actually hold. I think that if I want to play this game with this video card, I have to lower the quality. Maybe put it on 1080p because I know it's going to hold it there. Okay, but uh, I just left the settings from the previous uh, video card that I tested, and I just put it on 720p, and uh, it looks okay. You know, it's working. You know, but uh, not very very stuttery FPS. You know, look at the frame time. It's everywhere. It looks like an earthquake. Uh, uh, that frame time. <laughs> Seriously, it's some space alien messages are being sent on that graph. 300 megabytes of VRAM being utilized, so it's doing the job. You know, the video card. But uh, yeah, I don't want to play the game like this. I will uh, rather adjust it in such a way so I can get uh, the best uh, FPS ever. It's working, but not the way I like it. You know, it needs to be smooth. You know, very linear. That frame time, it's everywhere. And it's pissing me off. It's, it's doing the job, you know. I can't say nothing about that. You know? But uh, not uh, the right experience when it comes to this game. Uh, I think uh, uh, making it uh, flat, it's uh, perfect. On the CPU side, you can actually see it's barely uh, utilized with 20 watts consumption at maximum and 4.4, uh, nearly 4.5 gig of uh, system RAM being utilized here. Do remember, this is a 7950GX2 with uh, uh, two PCBs and the uh, whole data travels to those pins via those pins in the middle. And not funny, you know, hence why I think I got those uh, stuttery things, you know. But if we're jumping in GTA 3, <laughs> this is going to be very interesting to see. It's going to be uh, a great experience with this video card. It's doing a fantastic job of delivering the experience here with uh, 1080p and uh, I think it's maximum details. I think this doesn't have maximum details. It's got uh, view distance <laughs> like that. 100 megabytes of VRAM utilized. I have to take a run around the city and see if it's loading the VRAM because uh, usually that's when you uh, know it's uh, doing a, a nice job with SLI, you know? SLI, imagine GTA, oh, GTA 3 in SLI. <laughs> Come on, this is gonna be very interesting. The temperature is telling me how the video card is holding the SLI, so 55 degrees on the temperature. It's kind of good, you know, for the video card. Only three gig of uh, system RAM being utilized here because uh, the CPU is not stressed, 13 watts, 14 watts on this, 165 uh, watts on uh, the whole uh, computer overall. That is a very decent uh, performance from this uh, game. Nearly 200 megabytes of VRAM being utilized the moment I manage to drive around a little. And uh, yeah, it's doing the job. It's uh, one of those games that works on a video card like this. If I had this video card back in the days and I had this quality, I would have been so mesmerized. Maximum details, 1080p. Woo! I got uh, 720p here with low details because, uh, yeah, last time I had uh, uh, maximum details with 1080p and, and it was doing a fantastic job. If I remember correctly, I had some uh, lock FPS and it didn't manage to put it on. I managed to fix it, you know, I managed to find the, the problem and uh, managed to unlock the game. It's doing fantastic. So, yeah, in this situation, you can actually see the 7950. It's uh, capable of playing the game, capable of offering SLI experience, but the only down side is uh, low quality so i will not complain about quality because uh, you know 7950 i don't want to butcher the video card in this case i tried 1080p with maximum but no 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 chance i tried 1080p with low details and it was uh, stuttering and sli tried to uh, uh, show me the true colors and i said you know what let uh, low quality with uh, 720p and he's doing a fantastic job Look at that. Very mesmerized about this game, how it's performing. I really like how it's working with this video card. It's not on uh, maximum load based on the wattage. I noticed that uh, the moment I see the 200 watts, that's the maximum uh, I get from this uh, video card in the system. So now I got 175 watts consumption. I would say this is decent. It looks okay. It runs okay. There is no problem with the video card and the SLI in the game. So it's using uh, 230 megabytes of here. RAM, 50, 500 megahertz on the core, no problem there, and nearly 50 degrees on the GPU. I put a fan on the back because I was afraid of uh, actually overheating this video card. Even though I have new thermal pace, I still want the video card uh, very cool. I like the details. Seriously, I like how it looks. It, it looks fantastic, you know. So overall performance with this game, 
outstanding but if we're jumping in uh, age of empires with maximum details with uh, this video card it's uh, it's a different type of experience when it comes to sli and games like this you know uh, some games they are not uh, important you know when it comes to high fps and some of them they are uh, really important to have uh, decent frames up this is not okay in a normal game you know I would really love to see uh, games that actually have IFPS, but in this case, there is no problem. Oh my God, look at how big it is. <laughs> oh my God, it's lagging so hard. 22 FPS with the ship. Why the? Let's see in a ship war fight. Does it lag? Yeah, apparently it lags. But if I jump in Gothic with uh, 1080p and medium details, you can actually see I had to put medium details because <laughs> 210 watts. <laughs> <laughs> medium details it's uh, one of those resolution that actually it's in uh, perfect uh, balance between what the video card can do and uh, how the game looks i like uh, how it's performing here with this quality and i will not complain you know it's a 7950 gx2 so i will take this uh, opportunity this performance from this uh, computer and this video card based on the wattage you can actually see 210 watts consumption medium details it's uh, you Using the video card 63 64 degrees on this uh, occasion sometimes it's spiking because i'm loading other scenes you know i think it's from the hard drive i will test that in the future i'm uh, slowly getting there and uh, you can actually see the video card is doing nice you know 150 megabytes of vram utilized but it doesn't uh, take too much you know from this uh, uh, video card it's got 500 megabytes of uh, vram but the question is is it 500 megabytes of vram or is it like the previous uh, like the other video card that says for instance gtx 690 yeah it says four gig of vram but it's two gig per core maybe it's it's the same here 500 megabytes of vram 7950 gx2 but it's actually 250 megabytes of vram so <laughs> <laughs> per core per, per per pcb you know because it's got two pcbs and uh, they are interconnected in sli so i will say here on this amount of detail it's fantastic there is no crashes there is no bugs there is nothing sli is doing the job i think if i limit the fps to 60 fps this video card will actually be fantastic to be used in this type of game you know i do not recommend this video card very expensive very tedious you know maintaining it and uh, taking care of it not a lot of games that actually works properly on this but uh, we're working on it every single day you managed to see a couple of games today that are working really nice on this video card and i like it so the game list becomes higher i don't know how much is gonna hold you know because considering the the year this video card is got 18 years old video card there is in statistics in demographic there are people who are younger than this video card <laughs> <laughs> imagine say hey do you want a 7950 gx2 that is older than you nevertheless all jokes aside this is a fantastic video card uh it's it, too bad it's very rare too bad it's very expensive it, it would be an ideal to have in a retro machine you know to play some og games with some og hardware but that's it that's the problem you know it's very expensive and very rare but aside from that you know if you don't want to invest you can always come here and watch this video card how it's working because I will use this video card until the final day because this is what it was meant to be. So if you have in the future any suggestion for this video card and uh, for the system, leave a comment and I will see you very soon. We're in today with the legendary GTX. We're in today with the lead. We're in today with the...